Hi everybody, this is Cindy over at Paper Old and New. I finally got these into their covers. I didn't do this part on camera because there really was, it was, well, first of all, I messed it up the first time. So on this one, first of all, this is the one I kind of did as my, as the first one. And it, it was the practice journal because when I sewed it into the folder, uh, I didn't line when I, when I did the needle, it didn't line up right. So it's like off kilter and it folds wrong and, you know, anyway. Uh, so um, when I finally, uh, and I glued the inner file folder that these are stitched into. So this is a hidden spine. You can't see the stitching. Um, the inner file folder or the inner cover, I glued down and then folded the placemat pieces over and it already had the signature in it when I glued it down, of course, because otherwise it wouldn't be hidden. Um, and then I figured out that's not what I was supposed to do. That was not my plan. My plan was to fold the, excuse me, fold the edges of the placemat around the outer file folder. And then I got the bright idea to stitch it. So I stitched all the way around the outer file folder before I glued the inner one in. In this one, I had already glued it in. So I stitched around, this was a pain because it had a signature in it. I stitched around the outside front cover and then I stitched around the outside back cover. Now, along with that, as I was gluing this down, this piece of fabric goes all the way across I glued it down against, I glued it down to the inside of the outer file folder, and then I glued the inner file folder on top of it. I also glued this bookmark ribbon to the back. See how it pulls back there? I glued it to the back outside of the file folder here. It goes about, about a third of the way down. Um, and then I glued everything down. So those are sandwiched in and hopefully won't come out. Um, so yeah, and then my fourth one is upstairs under a book because I just got its inner cover glued in. Um, I was going to do it with you on camera, but my camera messed up when I was recording a couple of videos earlier today and I had to do some fixing. So I also haven't cracked these ones that are already done yet. So they're kind of, they're very stiff. But I thought maybe now that we've got the signatures in, we could start decorating. And my experimental one is going to be the junk one. So the first place I went was this page here with the where you can see the seam from gluing the two pieces of the textbook together. I don't know if you remember when we made that page. And what I want to do to pretty this page up, I was going to glue this over the seam. But then I wasn't sure if I should glue it over the seam so that it goes, because then it would get folded into the spine. And the only time you would ever see it, of course, is when you open the book, which isn't like totally bad. But in the same token, um, it's like a decorative piece, I, you know. So I could glue it there to cover the seam. And then my thought was to put these little this little, this little pocket on here, on this page, and then maybe this sunflower up here. See, I also kind of like the sunflower on the lace with the lace going through behind it. So my other thought then is to move this to the edge of the page so that it hangs out on this side like that. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to do that. So let me get my glue. I'm wondering if I should turn my, uh, my heat gun on to do some of this, especially if my Fabri-Tac is going to keep acting up. Wow. I got to clean this thing. It's gotten so much glue dried on the outside of the spike that it won't go down in here anymore. There it goes. Hopefully. Oh, maybe that pulled out the clog. Or maybe I just scraped clean the... 
We had to scrape clean this bike. I don't know which, but something broke loose. Okay. So we're just going to put a line of glue along the edge of this. And I'm making it kind of wide because it's going to be... And maybe when I do the next one, I pick a different lace. Because you know how I said I wanted them all? This lace bunches in some places and doesn't bunch in others. I think I want the bunch. So I'm going to glue it down along there. Like that. That's pretty. And I know there are people out there that like horses. And I like horses too. I'm not about to tell you I don't like horses. But I am going to cover him up. <laughs> I really want the pocket on this page. I like it against the textbook paper. And um, so I really want to put this pocket on this page. So the horse is getting covered up. Sorry, guys. If it was a horse journal, I would save the horse. But since it's not, the horse is getting sacrificed. Uh, might have been a poor way to phrase that. Now I don't know if I like the sunflower there. Oh, I could just put it over here, right? I'll just put it up in that corner. I would say I'd scoot the pocket over then so that they're not, it's not right under it, but. I, I'm really wanting to cover up a lot of this seam. That was my, kind of my goal. All right, let's, do I want to make this a double pocket? So. I think I might. So let's just glue it down. These are um, plastic silverware bags. I found them at Hobby Lobby. So, um, and I thought they would make neat, you know, ready-made pockets. So, here we are. I'm excited that we're starting these, uh, the decorating. And it's probably, as usual, going to be the thing that I have the most trouble with because I'll hem and haw and I'll try to make decisions before I come on here. I might even work like, like I made this decision in here before we did it. Like I had already decided I wanted to do this. So what I might do is do the ones in this experimental book and uh, then do it with you in the other books. Because it's not like we don't have four of these to do. Oh, seriously. Every time I have to use this glue eraser, I'm going to tell you guys how much I love it. Although right now it's being stubborn. The glue, I mean. Very stubborn glue. I guess that's a good thing. In the grand scheme of it all. Okay. Okay. I know there's a little smudge there. Okay, but now we have... A pocket here. And then the natural pocket of the, of the bag. Alright, let's clip the ends of our ruffle off. I don't know, should I clip them at an angle, kind of? I'm not sure how I should. I don't know if I want it to just be a flat. I don't know. Okay. We have more of that to use if we want to use it down the road. All right, now, so we have that. Now, my prob my only problem with this little guy is he needs something. Like, he needs a leaf or a something. He's kind of plain. And I don't like him like that. But I think he goes with this. So I need to figure out what to back him with. Oh, I know what I wanted to do, and I was going to get it and bring it down here. You know what? Hold on just a second, guys. I'm going to put this right here, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so I went and got this, and what I think, I'm changing my mind on where I want to put this. So I don't think I'm going to put it here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off of here, if I can figure out. I think they connect right there. So I'm going to cut this off. I think I might turn on my heat gun for this too. And then I will glue these down. So that can heat up while I cut these off. So I'm going to cut this off right here, I think. I'm not actually sure how many, it might be here. Actually, it might be here for this side. I don't know. I just have to hope it doesn't fall apart on me. Right? Okay. Now my idea for this was, it's kind of raggedy. I think it looks really nice right there. I think I clipped those ends wrong, but I think it looks really nice right there. And I'll just put extra glue on them. So that's what I think I want to do with that. And then we'll have this page spread kind of done. And we'll put this over here and then I'll probably leave this open for journaling. And that's uh, those two pages ready to go when my heat gun heats up. And then what we'll do is, okay, so here's the package of little, is that two? No, little sunflower envelopes. So I have two, like I said, the other, the other journal is upstairs doing flattening, <laughs> getting iron. Uh, it's under a book. So I'm going to do this same thing in all these other journals. So let's open this one and see what we're working with. Because pretty soon here, my glue gun's going to be done heating up and we're going to be ready to glue this one down. Uh, let's see. So right in here is my page. And see, that's nice and glued down. You can almost hardly tell it's there. So maybe I'm not so worried about that on here. So, I mean, not that that means anything necessarily for the... I don't want to stress this. The Okay, so we're going to need one of these. Um, hopefully I can cut, let's see, I cut from over here, so let's cut these again. I guess we'll cut on this side of the seat. I don't know. I feel like no matter where I cut, I'm going to do it wrong. Okay. They're kind of semi-round. And I'll put it like that. All right, and our pocket will go on here. Maybe we can center this one up a little more. I wonder if I could do this one differently. So this one has lace on the edge, and I can, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be adding ruffles and stuff, so I'm not so worried about this one having to have its lace on, its, on the edge. Um... So what did we decide with this? We decided yes, no, maybe. See that just gets lost. It's not the right kind of not the right kind of thing. What do I do with that eyelet? Okay, so we could do this one here. That's kind of cute actually. Um, make sure we glue the so um, both edges are sewn. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I actually have a ton of eyelet, and I don't know where I shoved it all. Okay. Um, um, okay, so we're going to take this. I think we're going to do eyelet in two of them, and that other lace that we did on this page in two of them also. And that'll be uh, 
just the way I do this because I'm not locate just on this page. I'm not locating anything else I want to use. So I'm going to trim this so that I get a clean edge. And then I think what I will do, my hot, my hot glue gun is hot. Let's run a hot bead down this. And ho I know hot, hot glue As soon as it gets out there and starts to cool, it starts to dry. So we need to Okay. So pulling that back slightly. this back slightly. Okay. There we have it. And that's leaking all over things that shouldn't be leaking all over because I just kind of dropped it and ran. Okay. All right, now we're going to glue this pocket down and then I'm going to get the hot glue gun back out and we're going to do these two doily, sunflower doily things. And then we'll try and get the third one done and then I think we're going to call this uh, a decorated set. Um, what I'll try to do for the next video is I'll collect up all the pockets and tucks and we'll try to do a pockets and tucks video where we put... Uh, Guys, I'm ready to murder this glue bottle. Um, where we just put down pockets and tucks on all the pages and then we'll come back and decorate later. I I can't get enough glue out of the... Oh my gosh, guys, I'm getting so frustrated right now. <laughs> uh... This has been a heck of a weekend for recording videos for me. Either my camera wasn't working or I was being interrupted six times in one video or, I mean, it was just ridiculous trying to get anything done. And now my glue is being stubborn. I'm like, I'm ready to throw in the towel for the weekend and just say, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> Apparently I was not meant to make videos this weekend. <laughs> I mean, I'm just done. <laughs> And look, now my pocket's crooked. <laughs> I'm going to lose it, guys. I'm going to lose it. Okay. This is ridiculous. All right, let me get one of those. Nope, I didn't get those out. Here we go. One of these. All right, we're going to actually need two of these, so I might as well just go ahead and get them. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this. I'm losing it, guys. I really am. Okay, I'm going to glue. I'm going to put some glue around. One here. And right in the middle. And I'm going to put this one here. Like that. And then I'm going to turn it over and glue in the same spots and then stick it down on the page. So this is kind of a quick... Quick decoration. I like, I like quick decorations. If anything else... Oh my gosh. If anything else wants to not cooperate with me today... I'm going to enter myself in a funny farm. I'm just going to just be done with it. 
Okay, so that is that spread. Um, I don't know if I'll add anything else here. I want to wait until we, I, we get the tags and stuff made. So when we do tags for this journal and see how that looks on the page before I go adding anything else to, you know, the pockets or whatever. But I think that's really cute. So that's a spread decorated. Let's get this one glued down and then we'll do the whole spread on the other one. And I will see you in the next video. All right, hold on. So first we did the glue around the outer circle. And then the glue around the inner circle. And then we pop that down. Like that. Ooh. And I did it crooked, so it's not actually in the glue circle, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> One thing about glue guns, they do leave rubbery, stringy things. Okay. All right. And there we have it. There's a rubbery stringy thing. Okay, so there's that page in that one. And when we close it, so like it closes over like that and you've got this nice little ruffle sticking out here. It doesn't stick all the way out the end, but you can see it if you turn to the side. Same with this one. This one sticks a little out the edge, but when you open up the journal, if the pages don't stick to the front, why are these sticking to the front? I mean, they're all stuck together. Yep. Okay. All right. No. Oh, okay. There we go. So anyway, so yeah, I think that's really cute. So let's do, I think we'll do another one of this. And I've got that one. And I can always tell my experimental one because it's the one that has um, the stitching all the way around the back and front. Okay, so let's get to the this page in here. And I think we're going to go ahead and we'll glue this down if I can get my glue to cooperate. I don't know what it is, guys. I just don't... I mean, I go up in there and I try to pull out any little rubber pieces that have dried, but I'm not getting anything. So I don't know why it's giving me such difficulty. Okay, let's just move right along. Ah, there it goes. Maybe there was something up there. So um, these journals are coming right along. I'm really excited. This is like uh, the first journal I ever made was a little golden book journal. So of course it was kind of pre-themed, pre, well, the ephemera wasn't pre-made, but it was pre-themed and everything. And I was, I was, I was learning. Um, I'm still learning. I, I don't say that like I'm a, you know, junk journal expert at this point because trust me I'm not um but I uh I, it was definitely learning I was learning you know pages and and uh decorations and all that and um it's been a really really fun journey this is my first well it's two things my first set of journals and my first journal that I'm putting together kind of on my own. It had no, like there was no already page. Like with the little golden book, you're using the signatures that already exist and just adding to them, you know? 
assuming you're keeping the story intact and all that. Um, for this one, I, you know, it was all on my own, is what I guess I'm trying to say. So, which has made this kind of fun, uh, different, in a different way. So I'm enjoying this process. And I'm, I just stuck my knuckles in my hot glue. Okay. That is so crooked. <laughs> I mean, on the other one that I used this lace, I covered up part of the edge so you didn't really notice it. But, and once it's down, this is, Gorilla hot glue. <laughs> I mean, there's no moving it. Once it catches, it's done. Oh, I should have left, maybe left the fan to edge. Okay, so there we have our ruffle. Is that not, that's not down. That didn't stick. You know what? I'm gonna put this in there. I say Gorilla Glue, and once it's down, it's down, and then it makes a liar out of me. Hopefully by the time everything there dries, it'll... It's not holding. What the heck? Did it not grab any of it? Okay. I just was talking really nice about you, Gorilla Glue. I hope you didn't do that. Come on. I hope you didn't do that to the last one. It's like in certain spots, the, the strip of glue dried before the fabric stuck to it. It's really weird. Okay, I'm not going to mess with it right now. Um, so let's clip off our last doily piece. And I've got like little pieces of eyelets sticking to me everywhere. And we will call this video done. And uh, I will see you... And hopefully what will be a pockets and tucks video. Hopefully. I didn't, I, I was making, um, like when I would make pockets for another video, I would make some for the Sunflower Journal. So some of the ephemera that I've made for this journal, um, you might have seen me do on a video and some of it might just be stuff that I did in my uh, in my own time while you weren't looking as I've said um, and um, we'll try and get you know some of that stuff into the journal and then hopefully we'll be able to do like a tags and journal cards video. I don't know that we'll make all the tags and journal cards on camera. Maybe some of them and some of them I will have already made. Or maybe by the time I get that far, um, I'll have done some tag and journal card videos where I've made some for this then. So we'll have to see how it goes. But I'm hoping to uh, walk through this whole sunflower journal experience with you guys. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'll take you along for the ride kind of a thing, whether you want to go or not. <laughs> no, just teasing. Um, okay, so that's our spread. And um, I think I, so far I'm really liking this. Uh, I love the little doily background for this sunflower. I had thought that it needed a leaf when I was going to put it over here. And I tested it with the doily over here, but with the lace, it was just, it didn't look right. But on the green dyed paper now it doesn't need the leaf and the doily looks nice on the green paper so i really like that so this is three of them uh 
with a page spread and one more upstairs with cover drying and I will probably do the page spread in that one to catch us up off camera and then I just want to check this and then yeah I think I stuck that in the glue pretty good um, and then we will move on from there and do you know the pockets and everything so we're making a start guys I hope you guys are liking these videos I hope you guys are liking these journals um, I am looking forward to getting these put together and seeing how big they get and seeing how, um, how they turn out. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one.